Underground stormwater detention systems are becoming incorporated into more and more site development projects. The most cost-effective way to detain stormwater leaving a site is an above-ground dry or wet basin. However, when the land space becomes limited due to the needs of the development, the designer typically incorporates the detention underground. These underground systems are usually placed under a parking lot or green space amenity, such as a park or sports field. CMP is the go-to product for underground stormwater detention for many reasons. It comes in a wide range of sizes with various corrugations, coatings, and gauges to choose from. The designer may also choose from round or pipe arch shapes as well as select a solid pipe, detention system, or perforated pipe infiltration system. The broad range of fittings and customizable layout configurations, ease of handling, and quick installation make CMP the most cost-effective pipe solution available on the market. This video will look at some of the key points with respect to the installation of corrugated metal pipe detention infiltration systems. As part of the material supply, Context Stormwater Design Professionals prepare a detailed submittal of the pipe materials and the recommended guidelines for the installation of the system. Once the submittal is approved by the engineer, the materials are fabricated for the project. While manufacturing is underway, it is a best practice to have a pre-construction meeting with the installing contractor and the local Context sales engineer to review the detailed fabrication drawings and the Context CMP detention and infiltration installation guide. This meeting walks through a project checklist covering the proper unloading, handling, and placement of the pipe with the goal of addressing any questions concerning the system installation. The pipe is being carefully unloaded from the delivery truck using a front end loader with fork attachments. The contractor has selected the proper size of equipment for the project that will allow him to pick up the pipe and place it on a properly prepared granular foundation. In this installation, the contractor is using factory attached two point lifting lugs and chains to lift and place the pipe into position. Notice the pipe has a fabricated reinforced bulkhead on one end. This is a solid pipe detention system and the pipe crewman is preparing the neoprene gasket and one half of the wide, fully corrugated band with half inch diameter rods and tank lugs that were specified for this project. The pipe crew is directing the equipment operated on the final placement of the pipe piece so the second half of the band will line up over the top of the pipe end. At the other end of the system, Sandy gravel backfill is being compacted using a small excavator with a vibratory head. The contractor is making sure to provide adequate cover over the pipe for the weight of the equipment being used. It is also common to see small flat plate vibrators utilized down low on the pipe to ensure that proper compaction is achieved up under what is called the haunch of the pipe. Once compaction is achieved, the contractor is utilizing a small lightweight low ground pressure bulldozer to trim down the granular fill envelope to minimum cover as required in both the submittal drawings and installation guide. Moving on to a perforated infiltration system, you will notice some distinct differences in installation versus the solid system. In this case, the contractor has again selected the proper size of equipment to lift and place the pipe sections, but is using nylon slings to pick up the pipe. Also note that a non-woven geodextile is being used to encapsulate the excavation. Because the pipe is fully perforated, the system is designed such that void space in the stone backfill envelope will also be used as part of the total storage volume of the infiltration system. The stone backfill is an open graded, meaning that it does not contain fines. The backfill is sized so that it will not fall into the 3 8 inch diameter perforations in the pipe. The geotextile prevents the migration of the surrounding excavation soils from infiltrating into the porous stone backfill. Please take note, the uniform spacing between the runs of pipe is designed so that adequate compaction can be achieved during the backfill operation. While the pipe is being held in the proper alignment, the pipe crewman is placing the second half of the band onto the pipe ends. Once the band is positioned correctly, the pipe crew uses a deep well socket to secure the band to the pipe. The piece you are seeing placed now is commonly referred to as a header or manifold. This piece consists of a 90 degree elbow, a 90 degree T, and a 30 inch diameter offset access riser. The manifold allows all of the system barrels to fill and release equally during and after the rainfall event. Because of the unique shape of the fitting, the factory attached lifting lugs placement is engineered to balance fitting during placement.
The pipe crew is now placing a 10 millimeter HTPE liner over the top of the underground system. While this is not a requirement on all projects, it is recommended in the snow belt. If it is common for de-icing agents to be used above the system, the specifier will often require the installation of these membranes. Means and methods for placing backfill takes on many shapes. Some contractors prefer to back and dump the aggregate and push with the dozer as shown earlier. Others like to place with an excavator bucket, and in this case, the use of a conveyor truck and front-end loader is being utilized to place the backfill. The important thing to keep in mind is that the lifts are brought equally to mitigate differential loading and then compacted properly.